What's up everybody, it's Ted, thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a clip from a couple nights ago. I filmed Kay on the phone talking about his um, plans with the LV-1 and the CL-5 that are coming soon. And I thought it was kind of funny. And please subscribe, new videos weekly, appreciate it. Welcome to Jurassic Park. What's up everybody, a little late night in the shop with Kay. Chilling out, I'm testing out a new mic. It's gonna hear all these crickets, it's probably gonna be so loud. Okay, what the, what the fuck is this? Jurassic Park over here? What is this? It's back to the future? What's going on here? Why'd you get this piece of junk? Because I paid zero dollars for it. It's a piece it. of tin. Look at it. Throw it I, to the scrap heap. I paid this first of all. This is legendary. <laughs> oh, come on. Legendary. Get out of here. And, I, and, and I, I would go so far as to say that not many boards are uh, as well thought out as this. What about the Yamaha how sound everyone bitches about? Come on. It's a little More sterile. Than a than a it's, a, it's a little sterile, but I'm sending this on gigs where sterile is okay. Oh. It's just lobs, uh, handhelds, Check. speeches. Check one, two. Exactly. Uh, Not everybody needs a, a C6 compressor and, uh, I don't know, side chaining and guitars and. His big brother's coming soon. Or his older brother, whatever yeah, the hell. CL. He's younger, bigger brother. The CL5. He's younger, bigger brother, bro. Now that Grooney's gone, I can buy whatever the fuck I want. Ah, uh, yeah, they're on need, eBay, dude. I don't need to try to appease his uh, snobby sound. The friggin', uh, friggin Digicos are on eBay, eBay and Reverb. Uh, not quite. <laughs> I don't know, if anyone's looking for an SD5 or an SD10, offer me the right price, it's all yours. <laughs> and when I saw X32s, like I went to Guitar Center when they got them, and I was poking around on it, and I'm like, this is a no brainer. I'm like, for $2,200, this will do every job that I'm doing with my LS lines. But. All said and done, the LS9 is still better in my opinion. The X32 might sound better because the compression is better. It'll take two seconds. I mean, and and I think when I show you my my little workflow, you'll agree with me. Like, yes, yeah, a thousand times better. If only for the fact that one button press puts a 31 band graph on the faders, on all the faders too. Not not like uh, not like button 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 graph. <laughs> now you got to move the graph with the yeah. spin knob and then stare at it to figure out what frequency it is it's just like button presses the graph and then there it is the cl5 has been popping up a little bit more and more and these corporate kind of gigs and oh shit i know that dudes like that guy are all about yamaha and for a lot of reasons dude they're no bull it ain't like digico where it's bloated with horse shit and a million things that can go wrong and then head scratchers where you're like huh how come no? How come I don't hear anything? How come nothing's coming out? And then it's, and then you got to sit there and poke through and think through ten thousand different things, and it's like, oh, because the master's actually on a group, like stupid things. You know what I mean? Just dumb, dumb things that you're like, Yamaha doesn't do that. And usually, as soon as you fire a Yamaha up, it's it's kind of like already patched in a way. Like I know that if I take an LS9 or probably even the CL5, well, I don't know about the CL yet, but at least the M7s and the the LS9s. I can just plug out, put 15 and 16 out as my left and right. I can plug the internal one through 32, and I know as soon as I turn the board on, I can send so I could send something out right then and there. I don't have to go. Uh, 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 which rack am I using? Uh, uh, conform. <laughs> okay, now let me go to channel one. Uh, ripple effect, 48 channels, one through, like all this nonsense just to get something going. You know, so so Yamaha really is the king when it comes to like. No nonsense, it needs to work. So, anyway, this whole thing where I bought a CL5, I needed to buy a Rio box. And the Rio box that I found happened to come with an LS9. And the LS9 has two Dante cards in it. So, yeah, so the way I see it is I bought a Rio rack and two Dante cards, and this fucking LS9 was free because the price the guy did was five grand. Yeah. A, yeah, a real a real box and two Dante cards is easily worth the five grand that I paid for it. So getting the LS9 was just like a bonus. Yeah, you know, yeah, again, back in the day when they were seventy five hundred bucks, worth selling to get X32s. But now we're on practically getting them for free. Yeah, it's I'll take it and I'll keep it too. You know. He's talking about CL5. We're getting. But the knobs are there. Getting rid of those Digicos, Gurney. They're going on eBay. Theoretically, you could do that with AES, but it's still a lot more cable than just a Cat5 cable, you know. So, anyway.
going to the city yet again. I've said it before. Whereas I'm so used to it, it's like whatever, but some people dream of coming to New York City. Living the life in the dead in New York City. Here's the big money shot. Where the subs? This. We're using the plate. Uh, that's nice. There's a digit coat. It's not the only one that connects on it. Wow, you got the two channels back. I wonder, I wonder how many of these will get left. How many of those will get left behind? <laughs> <laughs>